Hello everybody, Sir Monks, you all Zappy here, back with Psycho Pass. We're on episode 5, and in the last episode, we had a lot of VR stuff. Um, yeah, so there was a whole, there's a whole, like, virtual reality type thing, even though we're in, you know, cyberpunk land, and there's holo, like, graphic fucking everything, so, you know what I mean, like, you, you can basically do, like, deal with, you know, the more alternate reality stuff as opposed to the virtual one, but people are still, you know, messing around with virtual reality. Um... And, you know, there was a whole thing with somebody who was popular online who went by the name Talisman. That was like his online persona kind of thing. Um, turns out that the guy who was uh, supposed to be that guy, uh, he died two months ago. Um, so, yeah, it seems there's a sort of a criminal organization headed by uh, Makish... Makashima. Uh, that's what I believe it is, anyway. Um, and... I guess they basically just, because he was popular, they went in, killed him, started acting like him, um, and started doing stuff to sort of um, reap the sort of the, the monetary value of it, uh, seemingly. Um, and, uh, you know, there was a whole thing with that spooky boogie character who apparently was an old classmate of uh, Akane's, and, um, and she's been done in as well by the same guy so um yeah that's where it ended off uh it's definitely like a, an interesting sort of thing i mean I'm, I'm to be honest the whole like i don't know when this takes place but it the virtual reality like that they portray in this show seems well outdated <laughs> considering everything else but um but yeah we're gonna to have to see where this goes because I feel like we're we're starting to delve into the the overarching story now, as opposed to like the the last few episodes have been pretty much you know single sort of you know what I mean um, one episode story kind of arcs and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be good to get uh, get into this and see where we go from here. So without further ado, we're gonna get an episode five of Cycle Pass. Let's go. ごめんで済んだら警察はいらないんじゃない。ごめんで済んだら警察はいらないんじゃない。ごめんで済んだら警察はいらないんじゃない。ごめんで済んだら警察はいらないんじゃない。ごめんで済んだら警察はいらないん
<laughs> oh. Jesus, this fucking rigged the bloody explosion to blow. そりゃ申し訳ない。料件が罠に引っかかりましたよ。とうとうか。代わりのプロキシサーバーはいくらでも用意しますけど。なんでお前らは無傷なんだ。いや、そんな人間だってもう。日頃の行いじゃないですか。
なさい、ミドウ君。おかえり。おかえり。<笑>ただいま、肉体の縛りから解放され、集合地によって磨き上げられた、最もイデアに近い魂なんだ。君たちの尊さを壊したりはさせない。僕が僕が必ず守るから君たちは永遠だ<笑>でもね、oh, just fuck with them? もうちょっとうまくできなかったかなミドウ君。ねえ、ねえ君寺山修司を読んだことは<笑>寺山読むといい。戯曲、さらば映画よ。みんな誰かの代理人なんだそうだ。代理人たちがさらにアバターを使ってコミュニケーションを代理させているあらゆるアバターの個性を熟知し完全に模倣する何者にもなりうる君の個性とはどのようなものなのか僕はとても興味があっただから人を貸した力を貸した<笑>返せその声で喋るなでもねそろそろそこが見えてきた君ならではの思考を凝らしてみてはどうだろう。なるよ。そろそろお別れだ。ミドウマサタケ。死を運ぶ猟犬たちのお出ましだ。執行モード。ビースエリミネーター。慎重に照準を定め、対象を排除してください。おお。<笑> <笑>なわけだよ。今回君は十分よくやった。結局犯人を突き止めたのは鴻上さんでした。犯罪者と同じ心理傾向を持っているからこそできることだ。ミドみたいな殺人鬼と同じ心の持ち主だなんて思えません
Um, but seemingly he got it from text, not from voice. The fact that um, she would say that MWSPV is a, and instead of saying the police, right? I think it was text based, so. I don't know. Um, yeah, so there was another one. There was like Melancholia's Rainy Blue or whatever the fuck. That was another sort of online persona um, avatar that Mido obviously uh, worshipped those three as idols. He was obviously a fucking nutcase. Um, so, yeah. And the fact that he was last checked like four years ago. Like, he must have just known where every... Um, every like every route to take to avoid all that shit but the fact it was four years ago like i'm surprised they don't have it like it's it set up in place to where like you know if if his um i mean that the, the thing is the system is clearly it's extremely advanced so i would imagine that once what like there should be like a time limit like on how long people have been checked and if they haven't been checked for a while, then there should be like an alarm that goes off, and it should, like, you should be able to figure that out. You know, I'd, I'd imagine they should have had a system like that in place, but clearly they don't. Um, the fucking dominator blew his arm off. <laughs> fucking hell! I was wondering, like, after that happened, I was like, wait a minute, is that what, like, what would have happened? Because I figured it would, like, whatever it is that's inside of it, it would, like implode from where like from what it's hit so if it if it went into his arm it would still implode his body but i guess not um just ended up taking his arm off uh but obviously makashima and whatever they were just using Mido for obviously his own personal desires and gain um i don't know if it was just to cause chaos or what um because i'm not sure what exactly that was that they got at like that Makashima or whatever got like got out of it. Unless Makashima's like doing this on purpose to try and lead Kagami to towards him. Um I don't know when that whole like the first the very first scene of episode one i don't know when that took place whether it was in the future or it was in the past when he was an investigator before he and that was like the time where he turned from a investigator into an enforcer that whole scene at the start um i don't know we've also got like the guy who's i guess makashima's like right hand man or like something like that where the guy who has like the red but like yellow fucking thing yeah and i don't know what that is like obviously they're, they're all like sort of cybernetically enhanced somewhat um and i guess he's the same i don't know what difference his has though like if his if he's sort of been like set up some other way like if he's got like some different kind of computing technology inside of him or i don't know I want to know more about him though, because because uh, yeah, I'm, I I want to know what he what he can do, <laughs> considering he, he looks like he's um looks like he's wired differently to what everyone else is. Um. So yeah, the more this goes along, the more I wonder like. It's sort of the, like the investigator. So Ganoza and Ak like Akane, they they don't do much. And I know Ak Akane has like pointed this out to Masaoka and stuff. Though the fact that like uh, like you know what I mean like I'm doing nothing here, and and Masaoka is like you, you just need to be there and basically supervise us and tell us what you know what I mean. And it's it is that kind of thing of like you know what I mean like because they they are because they are latent criminals like that like therefore they're the ones that should risk their life and stuff you know um they're the ones that are on the front front lines risking their life because i guess they don't they're not as important you know what i mean um because they're technically criminals i mean i don't know how high kogami's like um 
crime coefficient went up if it just went because it said that um that he ignored the therapy right to continue on the investigation so i guess it probably went up to non-lethal then i guess um Because I guess he could still be an investigator and just have therapy, right? But I guess they just went past that, so... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess we've, we've had my first sort of, like... Over the course of an episode arcing story thing with, uh, with the VR stuff. I guess that's pretty much done now. Um, but we've started the, the story of this whole criminal organisation thing with my... Um, Makashima and whatever coming into play, I guess. I think that's his name. Yeah, I need to keep checking it because I feel like it's wrong every time I say it, but I don't know that's right. But, um. But yeah. Alright, I think that is all. So, thank you everyone for watching. In the description below, I have a bunch of links to different places. One of them is the Discord. I urge everyone to go over there, especially if you want me to react to a certain show, um, because that is where polls and things start uh, also if you just want to come over there and uh, talk to me talk to the community get involved do different activities and stuff and that's cool as well uh, my PO box is also in the description below so if you do want to send me anything at all you can do with that address there I will open up whatever it is you send me on camera it'll be a nice little addition to the video uh, and finally patreon so patreon yep yeah, is the big one a uh, bunch of different uh, tiers there that if you are uh, and rewards depending on how much you want to pay so obviously the bit the most popular one is uh, the early access which is five dollars a month for that you can gain access to um, all the shows that are involved in patreon a week early and also you get four videos across all of them every single week um, so that's four episodes of psychopaths four episodes of suzumi haruhi four episodes of tokyo ghoul four episodes of code geass across the whole week that's 16 across the whole month that's 64 episodes uh, as opposed to the 32 that the general public get so yeah it's good value for money especially if they're coming for more reactions from me um, so yeah that's that $10 a month that's full length so if you want my full unedited reactions to every single show then that is where you want to go so that includes all the shows I just mentioned plus Attack on Titan My Hero and ReZero um, so that's that uh, the $15 that's the exclusive tier so you gain access to another show I'm currently reacting to which is Parasite at the moment um, also all OVAs across all shows go into there and when I start reacting to movies they will go into the exclusive tier patron as well um fifty dollars that is the elite tier so if you, you for that you get uh, a choice of a show that you want me to react to and i will react to it it will go to the back of the queue i think it's about seven shows in there and uh i will react to it eventually however if you want to jump the queue then you want to get god tier which is a hundred dollars um and that that will basically jump your show at the front of the queue be, meaning that your show will pretty much be reacted to next um so the the only rules on those last two tiers are that the show must be 150 episodes or less and it must be a show that i've never seen before and they're both accumulative across the both the tiers as well so obviously i'm on a pay monthly basis on patreon and um, so if you pay one month a hundred dollars you get a choice of a show and then the second month comes along you pay again you get another choice so every time you pay you get a choice of a show okay but that is also thank you everyone for watching i'll see you all next time bye bye